If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as follow me and subscribe to me on all my other social media platforms. <laughs>
definitely helped kind of bring out a more somber, sorrowful feeling to this track. But it even gets like really folky towards the end, which is really cool. Like that Nordic, Norse folk instrumentation kind of shines through at the end of this track. And then Forest Dweller brings in more acoustic guitars that's playing along with a great guitar melody. And it's kind of almost a doomy start to this track. And once again, those cleans just... Ah, just shine through the whole time. And then you even get like this big scream from Grudley. And then the riffs kind of bring in a bit more of that Celtic Frost vibe. Like, I know there was a couple of tracks on the last album, Utgard, that had a little bit of, like, a Celtic Frost vibe to them. And it comes through here on Forest Dweller. And you even get, like, a cool keyboard lead, which was really cool. And then you get to Kingdom, which has a cool opening melody that feels like Judas Priest. Like... Definitely some songs in the back half of this album bring out more classic metal riffage, especially here on Kingdom. And then even more of those like synths come through because I will say whenever the synths and the keyboards do come onto this album, they're not overpowering the, the heaviness and the aggression of the songs of this album. They do more to like provide like an uplifting quality and definitely on kingdom was where i felt the sims truly felt their most happy and like cheerful for the most part and then there's even one section on this track where you get like some cool beats and acoustic guitars that feel like opeth a little bit and even a cool chugging breakdown in the middle, which was something different on this album and then it ends on a more thrashy note more in depth with the track the eternal seed the synths at the beginning felt like almost techno which was really cool but then it gets followed by a thick grisly bass tone and some atmospheric percussion i do love how this song in the beginning kind of teases great riffage with the guitars but then it stops with followed by the bass and the percussion but then after about two minutes huge payoff as the riffs and the grooves that come in here bring back more of that opeth and celtic frost vibe to it and even another great bass line stands out more db moments and then towards the end i just love how hypnotic and like relaxing almost it felt towards the end and then to caravans to the outer worlds begins with a thick odd time baseline i kind of almost felt like tool a little bit and then it gets into a great gallop and shred and this gallop turns into basically thrash metal done by enslaved that kind of has moments that remind me a little bit of testament but you can definitely tell this would feel like something enslaved would have written like this is one of the thrashiest things I've ever heard Enslaved do, so this song definitely stood out for me. Blast beats with clean vocals on top, and then a great groove at the end. And then to the title track, Heimdall, the longest track of the album at over eight minutes, begins with some cool synths that feel dark and sinister even, and then the guitars and the drums come in with more doom attached, like this is more of like a doom metal beginning, and then we get to moments where the riffage and the rhythms almost felt like Rush if they were playing black metal a little bit. Um, and even during a, a section of this song, like especially in those Rush moments, you do get a lead with great melody, but it almost feels like it's off from the beat, but it's almost like it was trying to perform itself in its own rhythm and world. And I love how you get this cool dynamic moment where things calm down to build tension and then big release as the drums come in with an awesome use of the bells, ending off with more classic metal riffs and beats that I absolutely love. So yeah, definitely like it's enslaved, but it's like the black metal is kind of really getting less and less per album and the prog metal 
get stronger with every album. Like, you still get black metal on here. Like, the screaming vocals are still here. You do get some blackened tremolos here and there on some tracks. But the clean vocals were definitely more prominent on this album than the screaming vocals. You do, Like I said, you get some more grooves on this album, some more classic metal moments. Gets a little bit thrashy. Wow, my voice went away. Gets a little thrashy on a couple tracks, particularly Caravans to the Outer Worlds. And I also like how the guitars do come out more on this album than they did on Utgard. And it's more aggressive. Like, there's plenty of aggression on this album, but plenty of moments where it just feels cheerful and uplifting and atmospheric in order to kind of put you into, like, into a proper zen almost the lead work on this album lots of shred for the most part with a few more melodic atmospheric leads but the shred that's going on here courtesy of Icedale just mwah. the keyboards and the synths like I said when used they were tasteful the bass I love Grudelay's bass tone on this album like it retains some grisly thickness to it and the drum work, like these drums, clever fills, awesome grooves, nice gallops, blast beats here and there, thrashy moments here and there. I just love them. And like I said, the cleans were just super exceptional. And the prog influence just gets stronger with every album. So yeah, overall, this, we have another perfect 10 out of 10 album. This is just masterfully crafted prog metal that has like and and i love how my buddies at the thralls of metal describe the black metal moments it's more of a seasoning on top of this like progressive metal steak almost as enslaved is pretty much full-blown prog metal at this point and it just Oh, I can't wait to get this album on CD now. Like, I'm just going to say, yeah, 10 out of 10. Just fucking listen to it. It's it's a masterpiece. I absolutely love it. But what did you guys think of Heimdall by Enslaved? Let me know in the comments below. But until next time, you people out there, keep your horns high and your dreams wet. <laughs>